Okay, so this is the next use case. The name of the lookup rollup summary is days since last KCM card sent. So this is the story. We have thousands upon thousands of contact records and we send these contacts um, various kind of cards like thank you card, like a birthday card, an anniversary card, encouragement card, and so on. So we want to know when was the last time we sent them a card. Is it a week ago? Is it a month ago? It's been a while. We don't want to send too many cards or too often, right? If we've sent them a card two weeks ago, we don't want to send them another card. That's too much, right? So because of that, we want to know how many days since the last card was sent to that account. So therefore, the parent object is the account object, okay? The child object is a custom object, which is sent KCM card. So this is the child custom object where every single card that is being sent is stored on this object, right? So, therefore, this would be a pretty simple um, lookup rollup summary. So, the relationship field is just the account C. So, this, this is located on the child object, right? So, the child object is linked to the account object, right? The child object is linked to the account object. So what field is linking it is the account C. Let me show you. If I go to the object manager and I go to the sent KCM card, this is the child object. This is the number of records we want to count, right? So the child and then go to field and relationship. So account underscore underscore C is the link, the lookup to the account object. Right, therefore, we are using this. So, I don't have any other criteria. So, you can actually leave this blank because all I want to know is when is the last card, right? I don't want to know the type of card is a birthday card or the type of card is a thank you card or is it an anniversary card. If I want to know when is the last birthday card that was sent, I can put the relationship criteria, the sent um, KCM card, maybe say the type is a birthday card, right? And then relationship is type. But since I don't care about this, I just want to know when was the last time the, the, the last time the card, any card, any type of card sent. So I can leave this blank. So this is a good example that you can leave this blank if all you want to do is that, right? So, what is the field to aggregate? Meaning, which field do you want to count? On this case, it's the date sent of the KCM, uh, sent KCM card. So this is on a child object, the date sent. Let me show you. So date sent is on here. Here, date sent on the child object, the date sent on the child object which is the sent KCM card right so I want to know when is the last time so if um, a particular account have 50 cards being sent I want to know the last one the newest one therefore I am using the aggregate operation max this is the same as the newest one or the last one. If you want to know the first one sent, you would choose min, right? The first one or the oldest one of a date field, all right? So that's that. Next is the aggregate result field. Where do you want to store this field? So because this is a date field, 
my aggregate aggregate result field has to be a date field as well this is on the parent object okay because you you want to know on the account object or on the account record what is the last time right so you have to put uh, or create a new custom field to put this information in okay so if i go to the account object i need to create first last kcm card sent right so i'm going to go to the account object over here and if i type last kcm card sent last kcm last kcm card sent so basically i create this field the single purpose of this field is to to uh, to have that information stored here and it has to be a date field okay so you create this field first and the date uh, the the type is has to be a date field because the field you are aggregating this has to match with this the field type right if this is a text field this has to be a text field if this is a number this has to be a number okay so we want to know the max or the newest date all right the newest or the latest okay you got that so and then you have to activate this i've uh, mentioned it before on the previous video um before you can activate this you have to deploy the child trigger by clicking this button and then simply hit deploy wait a few minutes then go back to this page and then you can activate that okay so before you click the you can save it first so make sure the first time you're creating this this has to be unchecked save it right save it like this you can save it so once you save it like that it's still not active because you will not be able to activate it once you save it then you click manage child trigger and then you deploy it and then you go back here and then you activate that like so now it's active and it will start counting then you can also do the full calculate right now if you want to calculate the whole records depending on how many records you have if you have 50 million records then you have to wait a long time if you have just 50,000 records not so long and you can also schedule when you want to calculate this like every day every week every month and so on and I always like to use this real time right also I've already talked about you what this is for on the previous video I'm not going to repeat myself please watch the previous video about the Facebook Messenger case um, calculation so that's basically it and everything else is the same so this is the case for a date field and i'll see you on the next use case bada bing bada boom hit that subscribe button and explore new trailhead grounds and learn to implement the most useful and popular apps on the salesforce app exchange and do yourself a favor like this video and you'll be surprised on how much more you understand when watching this same video after liking it don't take my word watch this one more time after you like the video and see it for yourself bada bing bada boom